My name is Commander Jay Seo, and I'm the Commanding Officer of Naval Support Activity, Panama City. We are home to the Naval Surface Warfare Center, Panama City Division, Navy Diving and Salvage Training Center, Navy Experimental Diving Unit, United States Coast Guard, Panama City Station, and many others. Together with these tenants, we are the second leading employer in Bay County. I'm Commander Sam Brassfield, the Commanding Officer of Naval Diving and Salvage Training Center. Here at NDSTC, it's our responsibility and privilege to safely and effectively train qualified candidates to become capable and confident military divers for all five armed services, allied nation, and other government agencies to support our national security. Today, NDSTC is the world's premier joint military diver training facility. The fleet and military force are our customers and we remain focused on their requirements and the standards they set. We conduct top-notch training by balancing the ever-present risk with safety. My name is Eric Donovan. I'm the Chief Bosun's Mate of the United States Coast Guard. Here at Station Panama City, I'm the Executive Petty Officer. Here in the local Panama City area and on board NSA Panama City, we are a 24-7 search and rescue unit. We do routine patrols for law enforcement uh, every day. There's, uh, our missions also include detecting radiation and nuclear uh, detection while we're out on patrols as well. The uh, mission of the local area is to make sure the waterways are safe and conducting recreational boating safety at the same time. My name is Commander Jay Young and I am the commanding officer at Navy Experimental Diving Unit. The mission of NEDU is to conduct unmanned, manned, and biomedical research in the areas of diving, hyperbarics, life support system development, and human physiology in an effort to develop tactics, techniques, and procedures that our military units can use to expand the advantage of any underwater diving operation. Critical systems of importance are our, our unmanned experimental diving facility that conducts all our unmanned testing uh, of equipment. Uh, one-of-a-kind, first-to-class physiology laboratory and test pool where we conduct physiology experimentation and shallow water uh, experimentation of equipment. Our deployable saturation diving system has the capability of diving operations anywhere in the world up to a thousand feet of seawater. And our crown jewel is the world's only and most complex hyperbaric system, our ocean simulation facility. Our ocean simulation facility has the capability of conducting hyperbaric operations up to 2,250 feet of seawater. The future mission of NADU is to continue to support the underwater warfighter to develop mitigations for special warfare operations. And we will continue to conduct saturation diving both in our ocean simulation facility as well as operationally in our saturation flyaway diving system. I'm Captain Aaron Peters, the Commanding Officer of Naval Surface Warfare Center, Panama City Division. Our primary mission here is to do research, development, testing, and evaluation for four primary mission areas. My warfare is the number one mission area. Our second mission area is diving and life support systems. Our third is naval special warfare. And our fourth is expeditionary warfare. In the future, we will continue to support the national defense strategy as well as the CNOs and the Naval Sea Systems Command's guidance and direction. Since 1945, our installation has occupied St. Andrews Bay between Panama City and Panama City Beach. As the primary service provider, 
Our first mission is to deliver safety and security to all service members, civilians, retirees, and families on our base. These shore capabilities include day-to-day -day services like our security department, fire and emergency, public works, utilities, lodging, and food to the installation. We deliver an integrated suite of efficient, effective, and responsive shore capabilities to enable and sustain our tenant commands who provide superior support to the warfighters of today and tomorrow. Our installation generates nearly 600 million annually, but it is seen in the diverse workforce of military and civilian employees working hand in hand to provide a variety of services to not just our military and civilian employees, but to all eligible patrons of NSA Panama City. Our heritage of service to service members, retirees, civilians, contractors, and their families continues to be our commitment and will be for generations to come.